So we looking at the word suffer right there. And Exodus 18, I mean uh, 22 and 18. I have to get up on some covering because it looks like it's going it's to rain, but we're going to see. Wow, crazy weather out here. Yeah. It says, uh, this is uh, Strong's H 3784. Kashef, it says to practice witchcraft or sorcery. See? That's suffer. Mm -hmm. To practice witchcraft or sorcery. Go ahead. Yeah, because it, it, it goes into thou shalt not suffer a witch. It's the whole, it's the whole, it's not. It's the whole deal. Kind of, not so a, anybody practicing witchcraft or sorcery, okay? Go ahead. It's uh, to practice witch witchcraft or sorcery, use witchcraft, sorcery, sorceress. And then you got the you got the you got the northern kingdom. You know what I'm saying? They'll go to grave site. What's that kind of bro? Uh, Halloween uh, down there. So called yeah. Halloween down there. El Dia de los Muertos. The See? Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead, man. They be all into that, man. Going to the graveyards. You know what I'm saying? That Train. witchcraft and sorcery, man, uh, uh, trying to uh, communicate with the dead, man. You see? And be all into that, man. So what does the scripture say about a witch, man? That's the northern kingdom, man. They be all into that, man. Okay? I looked at the lexicon, and it says uh, words related to worship. Pray to offer prayer or worship. See? So they'll be trying to go on the left hand side in the witchcraft talking to the talking to the dead trying to get answers. And that pissed the most high off, man. Uh -huh. Trying to get answers about what's going on in life in their future. Right. right. See? And that pissed the most high off, man. Uh -huh. And that's why the most high tearing the northern kingdom up like he tearing them up, man. Uh -huh. Death, man. You see, and that's why a lot of them are, uh, a lot of them, uh, like the brother telling me, uh, on the Spanish channel, you watch the Spanish news, and you got a, the, uh, the American uh, uh, government will be telling the Northern Kingdom to come up here, right? Right. And they'll flee up here, which is all set up for judgment. But what I'm telling you is they'll flee up here because they catch it so much hell down there. And they think it's easy up here, but they ain't finna do it. They, they ain't running from them curses, man. Them curses gonna fall right up here, man. Because they not gonna change they they not gonna change their ways. Even though they leaving from down there and coming up here, the ways of uh, 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 of them being defiled is coming right with them. Done. Done. See? Done. What's the difference between you eating pork in Mexico and then coming to the United States and still eating pork here? You still gonna get it, man. You still gonna get judged, man. And you getting judged down there in Mexico or wherever the Northern Kingdom is down there in South America, and you trying to run up here, you gonna get judged up here, man. Done. Cause them curses gonna follow you, man. Done. Wherever you go, because you are you are the children of Israel, man. Done. You're a rebellious people, and the Most High gotta light you up for doing what you're doing, all in the witchcraft and sorcery. Done. Go ahead. Oh, that was, that was it. Read that scripture again. All right. This is Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Go ahead. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So, a witch is supposed to be what? Put to death, man. That's the judgment for Put to death, man. That's why the most part of white America out. Okay? The white third out. Okay? According to prophecy. Because you got our people uh, in the witchcraft and sorcery, man. That's why 66.6% of them got to go. And they defile with lies, man. They ain't going to come back to this word, man. And 
that's why that's why when you you know what I'm saying the north you know what I'm saying the northern kingdom brother is you know Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, you know whoever it is, uh, Zebulon, you know what I'm saying coming, Ephraim, Ephraim you know uh, whoever it is, like and I, right now I'm talking specifically about uh, you know uh, Issachar, you know when they find these little boys stranded you know at the border trying to cross over here, and then that's why we don't feel sorry for them because here it is you've been stranded for three days and you're starving. Don't know what to do, you know what I'm saying? But then you got Santa Judas on your neck. You got See? an idol wrapped around your neck. See? And expect the Heavenly Father to uh the to help you. People. You know, to deliver you out, out of the here, situation. Man. You got an idol around your neck, man. They know the Heavenly Father exists. They, they know the Heavenly Father and the Son exists, but they don't have no more for the knowledge. You see? You read it in Romans 10, man. You see? So that's it on that. Yeah. Let's get to let's let's get into the mind state of how the heavenly Father and His Son thinks when they come to you uh, worshiping idols. Give me Deuteronomy 17 and 2. See, this is why we this is why we went in captivity, man, because of things like this. And here it is in 2021, uh, still doing the same thing, man. Still doing the same thing. Yep, Deuteronomy 17 and 2. All right, Deuteronomy 17 and 2, and read on down. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 2. Go ahead. If there be found among you within any of thy gates, which Yahweh by some Yahushai, thy power giveth thee, man or woman, that hath wrought wickedness in the sight of Yahweh by some Yahushai, thy power and transgressing his covenant. Go ahead. And hath gone and served other gods and worshiped them, either the sun or moon. So, you know, Issachar was known to read the heavens. Okay? You got Issachar probably down there worshiping the sun and the moon. Okay. Right? You see? Okay. The northern kingdom. End of that. Not just Issachar, but the northern kingdom are into that. I've even, I've even heard, uh, you know, my, my fleshly father, you know, I've heard him say that his mother used to get out, you know, early in the morning and basically worship, you know, worship, you know, the, the, the so-called, you know, uh, God of the wind. See? Towards the, you know, towards the west, towards the east, towards the north, towards the south, the sun, the moon, the stars. See? Everything and anything but Yahweh. By some you have a shot. See? I right, that's in the scriptures, man. That's in the scriptures, bro. That Jake was doing that, man. That's in the scriptures, man. Well, go ahead and finish that off, and I'm gonna bring it out, man, through spirit. Alright, it says, or any of the hosts of heaven mm -hmm. which I have not commanded. See that? Go ahead. This is uh verse three. And has gone and served other gods. And worship them so I can read this in uh, verse 4. And it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquire diligently, and behold, it be true, and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought in Israel. Go ahead. Verse 5. Then shall thou bring forth that man or that woman which has committed that wicked thing under thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. See? That's the thought process of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. That's the penalty for idol worship. See? That's the penalty for idol worship. The penalty for what? Witchcraft is what? Death. The penalty for idol worship is death. You see, that's the thought process of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And we read in Joshua 1 and 7, don't turn to the left or don't turn to the right. And guess what our people did? Went straight to the left, straight to the right. They didn't continue on the course that they were supposed to do, meaning walk in the statute of law of commandments. Man, that's, that's, a, that's a heavy demon, man. That's, that's a, a heavy, heavy demon, demon, bro. For the Heavenly Father to, to tell you, hey, you know, my son, or you know what I'm saying? 
follow, you know, follow this, you know what I'm saying? Follow this, just go straight ahead. Just go straight. And, okay. And then you go left. And then, then you, you go, go right. You see? That's a heavy ass demon, man. And then, you looking at your son like, man, what is, what is you doing? Right. I just told you to right. do this. But you're going different direction. Okay, I gotta get you. <laughs> I gotta get you. You think you're safe going that way? I bet. I gotta get you. I gotta get you. You see? And that's what it is, man. Just like the apostles always say, the heavenly father and his son are hard teachers, man. You go down that path, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer for it. You're gonna suffer for it, man. And if that's the way they gotta teach it, so be it. They're gonna kill you. They know best. They know best. And looking at the, the, the predicament of the Negro Latinos and Native Americans and the people, we in bad shape, man. As a nation, man, we in bad shape. Okay? The way this world is going, man, the way this world is going, man, is headed for destruction, man. Okay? The people don't even know if they're coming or going these days, man. Everybody's in the confused state. Man. People are sick. You got, you got, you got women want to be men. You got men want to be women. This place is out of here, man. This place is out of here, man. But, is this a moment? Give me, uh, Give me wisdom of Solomon because you was going into how your uh, parents, uh, how your dad was saying that his uh, mother would go outside and uh, worship the, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the wind towards the west, towards the east. Show you something, to, bro. To front, show you something. It's right in here, bro. It's right in here, bro. You see? Give me uh, wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 13. And we're going to start at uh, 1. But the key, the key is in uh, verse 2, but we're going to read 1, 2, and 3. Solomon chapter 13. Verse 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going to go back to 2nd Ephesians 15 chapter. All right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. Go ahead. Surely vain are all men by nature Go ahead. who are ignorant of the Most High Power and could not, out of all the good things that are seen known him, that is, neither by considering the works did, did they acknowledge the workmaster. Go ahead but deemed either fire or wind or the, the, swift, the swift air or the circle of the stars or the violent water or the lights of heaven to be the gods which govern the world. See? Man. You see that? Now you think, now you people out there think that the northern kingdom is not into that? You think they ain't doing that right now today that yeah. we speak? Man, they doing all everything we just read, man. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. We out here to bring down these strongholds, man. Yeah. Okay? Because this earth is full of lies, man. It's full of lies, man. So read that verse 2 again. All right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 2. And she probably got that, his mother probably got that from her, uh, from her parents. Yep. That's why she's doing it. It was traditions, so to speak, passed down, man. Right, right, right. See? That's how they do. Oh, it's, it's just it's tradition. Right, right. What you going on? Right. The Heavenly Father looking at you, pursuing the Deuteronomy 7 and 2 on down. 17, 7, Deuteronomy 17 and 2 on down. Oh, I got to get you. I got to put you to death. What you going on? Huh? Huh? See? Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 2. Go ahead. 
but deemed either fire or wind or the swift air or the circle of the stars or the violent water or the light of heaven to be the gods which govern the world. Yeah. Sun and moon worship. Yep. Yep. See? All that. All that. Worshiping the planet. Hey, exactly. Worshiping the planet. Because you got Jake, what they'll do, they'll be, man, Jake out of there, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. The thing about it is that, like, like my father, you know, my fleshly father told me man, that she would get up early in the morning just to do that. Just to do that, man. Diligently. Diligent. 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 And worshiping the idol, man. But the heavenly father and his son, you don't know. You know they exist. You know they have power. But you want to submit to the wind, to the water, to the lights in the heavens, to the stars. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, verse 3. With, who, with whose beauty is they being delighted took them to be gods. Go ahead. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty hath created them. The first author of beauty hath created them. So you worshiping that, why not worship the power that created it? Uh, uh. That's how simple and vain you people are. Why not worship the power that created it? That's how simple you people like to go to Native Americans are, man. And that's how simple the Northern Kingdom is, man. Man, man, man. It's the language barrier, man. Only if you do the language, man, you would see, like, man, you fucking bugged out. Yep, yep. Just that language barrier. It's man. that language barrier, man. And it was for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Y'all watch something, y'all was shouting those best because... To keep us divided. Yeah, to keep us divided, you know what I'm saying? Because even, you know, where where did the so-called natives, you know what I'm saying, uh, get their languages from, you know what I'm saying, or it was beaten into them, you know, by the Edomites. It's to keep us divided and to discontinue from our heritage. You see? That's part of prophecy, man. Huh? You see? That's part of prophecy, man. You know? So, we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra. All right. At this moment, that's it on that particular verse. Come, come, that was it. Okay, all right. So, we're going back to 2nd Ezra. Right? All right. And I'll start at verse uh, 2. All right, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 2. Go ahead. And caused them to be written in paper. The prophecy. So, we will have them so we can pull down the strongholds, man. Okay? So we can tell you to get right for Yahweh Shemel Shai, judge this place, man. Because that's what's coming according to prophecy. Judgment, man. He's going to rip America to shreds, man. He's going to destroy this place, man. Okay? And he's going to catch a lot of you nigga Latinos and Native Americans out there, man. Go ahead. For they are faithful and true. They are faithful and true, man. These words, man. And the prophecies, man. Okay? We showed you the penalty for witchcraft and idol worship. And for what, uh, uh, you're going to worship in the sun and the moon and the stars and the wind and the water. Hey, right, man, why not worship y'all by Shadow Shine? That's who made it. Source. Go to the source. just can't think that far. You just can't think that far. Why? Because you're defiled. You have, an, you have embraced Esau and his lies, man. Yep. And you won't accept that you're an Israelite. And that's your nationality, man. You rather accept that you're African American, that you're a Puerto Rican, that you're a Mexican, okay? That you're a Jamaican, that you're a Haitian, okay? That you're indigenous people. You rather accept all that, man. Right, right. You see? That you're a Cuban. Okay? Colombian. A Colombian. 
you see? Or Chilean. Okay? Argentina. Argentina. Okay? You rather accept all that, man. Peru. 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 Yeah, you Peru. see? You rather accept all that, man, instead of Israel. Honduran, Honduran, Salvadoran, Salvador. And y'all are all brothers and sisters. All brothers and sisters. They think you're different people. There's confusion. That the so-called white man has been able to push on y'all. They think that y'all are different people. They think that y'all not the same. All the way up from Judah, all the way down to Issachar, man. Man! It's like uh, Simeon. Simeon, you know what I'm saying, the so-called Dominicans. Yeah. And uh, Levi, the, the so-called Haitians, on the same island fighting each other, man. Same island. But that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a prophecy right. that they're going to be divided because they both in the witchcraft, man. And by them coming together, that will be destructive. Yeah. Okay. So the language is different. Everything, man. But they brother. Right. Right. And they don't like each other on the same island, man. Yeah. The Dominican look down on the uh, Haitians, man. Yeah. You see? But it's prophecy that they weren't gonna come together, but be on the same island because. They in the witchcraft and sorcery, man. They, they coming together, man, to be destructive, man. Okay? But uh, Levi is going to come together with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, Simeon, not no Dominican and no right, Haitian. Right. They ain't coming together. But Levi and Simeon, they going to come together. Okay? Because of prophecy. You got Revelation 7, chapter 12,000 out of each tribe. Okay? So it's gonna happen. So where we at?